What do you say to Jewish students on college campuses who feel unsafe given the dramatic rise in anti-Semitism? And what do you say to university presidents and college presidents who have not met the moral clarity moment to forcefully condemn Hamas terrorism? Mr. Ramaswamy, would you like to take that one? Absolutely. I think the scourge of anti-Semitism across this country, including at places like my alma maters and places like Brooklyn Bridge in New York, it's sad to see, but here's what history teaches us. Anti-Semitism is a symptom of a deeper cancer in a country and a society that is lost, and we are lost. Several years ago when I wrote my first book, Woke Inc., I was talking about they were chanting death to America, death to white people, death to Christians. Nobody was waking up back then. Now it's even bad, now they're saying death to Israel and worse. So it is wrong, but we have to get to the root cause here. Now I think it's really important that we do this through leadership not censorship. Leadership means fill that void with purpose and meaning. Dilute this wokeism and anti-Semitism to irrelevance. These kids, they have no idea what the heck they're even talking about when they're siding with Hamas over Israel. They are fools. But I also want to caution here, if we go the direction of Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley, with whom I respectfully disagree on this issue, pro-censorship, telling student groups to disband, mark my words, Soon they will say if you question a vaccine and its side effects, you're a bioterrorist. Soon they will say that if you show up at a school board meeting, you're a domestic terrorist. Soon if they say that J6 prisoners should be released, you're an insurrectionist terrorist. So that's where this road ends. We don't quash this with censorship because that creates a worse underbelly. We quell it through leadership by calling it out. These university administrators have lost their way, and we need leadership at the top in the United States of America that restores our founding values and that has no place for this kind of anti-Semitic hate. That's where I stand while respecting our Constitution. Your time is out. Uh, Senator Scott, uh, let me get you to weigh in on what yeah. you just heard. So, let me just say to every single university president in America, federal funding is a privilege, not a right, number one. Number two, to every student who've come to our country on a visa to a college campus, your visa is a privilege, not a right. Number three, any campus that allows for anti-Semitism and hate to allow students to encourage terrorism, mass murder, mass murder and genocide, you should lose your federal funding today, period. To all the students, on visas who are encouraging Jewish genocide, I would deport you from those campuses. We have to stand strong with our Jewish Americans.